Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check third-party apps on your mobile phone. Now, if you're downloading any kind of apps that maybe you didn't recognize or that you don't remember downloading or installing, or maybe you want to check some hidden places that apps can exist that you might not know that they're taking up space, or maybe using your privacy, location, photos, all that stuff. So the first thing we're gonna to do to find those is to head into your settings, and we'll scroll down and tap on general. And then from here, let's tap on iPhone storage. Now this will show you every single app that you have downloaded from the app store. I'm using iPhone, but you can do the same process on an Android as well and go through every app that you downloaded through the Google Play Store. So this will show me all of the apps by order of the size. So of course, any third party apps that are not Apple apps, Basically, you can go through the process of deleting them. For instance, if I tap on mail on here, this is an Apple app, but if I tap on Telegram, this is a third party app. You can see at the very top, it doesn't say that it was created by Apple. It was created by some other company, in this case, Telegram. Now, that is one place you can go through here and delete them, but you can also check other places. And let's go back here and I'm gonna scroll down tap on Safari, and then let's scroll down again. And what we're gonna look for are, where are the extensions? Oop, maybe I passed it, there it is, extensions. Now, a lot of times you might download and install an extension for a browser like Safari or Google Chrome, and essentially that can remain hidden because it's not an app, but it's still a third-party add-on to that basically Apple or Android app. So you can see PayPal Honey here, I can tap on it, and on here you can see what it is using, basically PayPal Honey for. And on here I can always go back and choose to delete this, or I could choose to install more extensions, anything that I want for my Safari, as well as Google Chrome. So I'd recommend checking those places out for any kind of third-party data or installations on your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.